I get yeah. excited, but I do have to sometimes kind of pull back my excitement a little bit because I'm like, oh yeah, I get to do it. You know, I get. He's gonna be a part of the business. It's gonna be amazing. He's gonna run my whole video department. I'm like, he's nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Welcome to the Business of Parenting podcast. Tune in as we discuss the principles of successful parenting as a business professional. Here's your host, Jason Harris. Bringing kids into the business, I think, is incredibly important. It definitely supports kind of our previous topics around work life balance, you know, letting the kids see what happens and what is the business, you know, it makes them connected. There's so many things to it. And then of course it promotes more routine, but I'd love to kind of hear how, how you've kind of executed on bringing the kids into the business. Yeah. So uh, the, I have to always be careful with that because I don't want, <laughs> I don't want like workforces to come to my house and be like, man, what are you doing with these kids? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but no. So what I do in the house is I, I try to get intentional. I've, I've written down intentional on my paper so much, but I try to get intentional about what, again, they want and then see if there's an area in the business that they could use that talent or that skill or that gift and add that to the business. So the, the, like a real life example, my son, my oldest son, he wants to be, he wants to do like gaming and stuff like that. And, you know, his name is AC gamer. <laughs> and so in doing that, he wants to have his own YouTube channel, you know, all these other things he likes to, uh, he wants to be able to show what he's doing. And so I said, you know what, like, if you really want to learn a YouTube channel and you want to learn editing and stuff like that, I have a course that I've taken on it. I said, you should take this. And I said, and have fun with my stuff. I said, cause I don't do near enough with YouTube as I should. I said, well, why don't you just have fun and blow that thing up? I said, man, if it ever turns into something that generates some revenue, I wrote up a little contract. He gets a certain percentage of the earnings and he literally has just taken ownership of it. And it's taught me though, to not pursue perfection with them because I know when I first started editing content and doing things on camera, I wasn't the best but it's sometimes I could be critical of other people's work, but I've just learned to let him just fail. Let him just mm -hmm. have fun. Mm -hmm. Let him mess up a few subtitles, but him doing that now he's super excited and supercharged. So when he does start his own company and he does start blowing up his AC gamer stuff, he already knows like how he wants to lay things out. He knows his content strategy. That's he knows cool. how to use Canva. And I think that's cool. So just making sure that what I would tell any parent that's, that's looking at bringing either their spouse or their kid is we, a lot of times, again, we focus on what we need to help our business, but they might not be the person that helps us with that need, but there could be something that's in their skill set that they could bring to the business that we didn't even think like, Oh my gosh, dude, like this person's a genius. Like he can, he or she can really help me out. And that's what I'm excited about is my other ones grow up. It's like, all right, what's your, what's your skill set? What's your gift? What do you want to yes. do? And then finding where I can put that in the business is, is, has been phenomenal. You know what? And it's fun. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. it, it is kind of fun, right? When, when my two worlds collide, um, I actually think it's pretty dang cool. I, I, I just kind of, maybe I'm like, Oh, proud Papa moment. I'm like, this is yeah. pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like it, it is, you know, my, um, it's funny that you bring up the video thing because my youngest, uh, comes to me and you know he's like and he he sees my youtube channel and he, goes, and he watches a few videos so he'll come back to me i'll go dad who, who that person you were talking to and i'm like you actually watched that okay okay yeah. um you know uh but he was he wants a youtube channel he's nine years old and i'm like you know what um i'll make you a deal all right if you learn how to put together and edit 20 videos Right. Then we'll open a YouTube channel, but only if yes. you can execute on 20 videos first. Right. And because you think people, the kids got to know, like, you know, they, they sense, they see these YouTube influencers and they think they just kind of like flipped on a camera one day and they had millions of followers and da, 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 da. I'm like, no, there's like real work that goes behind, you know, you're watching a four and a half minute video. You just don't. So, so like I actually, I downloaded um, iMovies on his, um, on his iPad. Uh, he watched mm -hmm. like a 35 minute tutorial on it. And, you know, he like made this, you know, this video of him and his friends playing hide and seek and he added titles and, and he added uh, some special effects and a subscribe button. And, and I'm just like, okay, man, like you, you're getting into this thing. Right. But I may, I'm going to make him do 20 before he kind of gets into it. Right. Because I think, you know, a lot of people just think like 
getting into a business is just something it's a light bulb that you flip on <laughs> we both know that yeah. is not the case at all right like that is not yep. the case at all but I, but I, I get excited but i do have to sometimes kind of pull back my excitement a little bit because i'm like oh yeah i get to do it you know i get he's gonna be a part of the business it's gonna be amazing he's gonna run my whole video department i'm like he's nine years old <laughs> <laughs> yes Thanks for tuning in to the Business of Parenting podcast with your host, Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to check out the full podcast library at strategywithjason.com to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.